And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that had the key of David, he that openeth and no man shut it, and shut it and no man open it. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Revelation 3, 7 through 8. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. This week here at Philadelphia, it's Family Week. The purpose of Family Week is to give you the opportunity to spend some quality time with your family. Ministry is important, but the family is your first ministry. We will still have Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. You can stop by for your lunch break. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. And if you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android and Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. There's a school of prayer will be postponed due to family week. The fire ministry, the free indeed recovery experience has been postponed during the month of September and will resume in October. See you then. Mark your calendars for Baptism Sunday on September 22nd. The next step of salvation is to go to the water. Remember to bring a change of clothes and wear dark colored clothing. The new membership class is scheduled for Wednesday, September 25th. So you've been coming to church for a while now and you want to make Philadelphia your official church home. Then join us on September 25th and learn the history, doctrine and mission of Philadelphia. See you there. The new membership class is also open to anyone living out of state. You'll be able to join us on live stream to be a part of the class. All married couples are encouraged to join us for the marriage ministry on Friday night, September 27th at 7 p.m. Mark your calendar. You don't want to miss it. Also, the single ladies are having a sleepover on Friday night, September 27th at 7 p.m. at the Pine Street location. See Alicia Haywood for details. The HFL Hebrew flag football season is here. Sign up is now available in the foyer after service. Let's take a moment to check out our next Philly testimony. Philly, at it once again, standing next to my brother Dalford. They said if I needed anything, to dial Dalford, so I dialed him. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, Dalford, I just wanted to ask you, who first invited y'all to Philly? First invitation to Philadelphia came from Aaron Sesu. That was back in oh, maybe 2010. Okay. Home, home from college on a I think maybe summer break, and Sesu had been coming maybe for a year or so, and he was talking about how Pastor Omar's word was powerful, and I knew because they used to do Bible study under my mama's carport. Okay. Okay. So at the time, I was still living in the world, scared to come to church, and feel convicted. So I'd come, fall back for a few months, come again, and it got to the point where I just couldn't say no anymore. I've I got been you. home ever since. I got you. Um, he invited me. Okay. When our, when our first dates. Yes, yeah. it's like a, a second or third date. He invited me to Bible study here. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. So, hey, fellas, if y'all trying to get a woman, church, first date, take it from Dalford. Okay, so the, the second question I have for you was, how was your first experience? Uh, with Philadelphia? Oh, conviction. Conviction immediately, man. It wasn't, you know, you came to church and you got you got the word, you got some enlightenment, some uplifting, but pastor didn't spare the ride. You know, you know if you had flaws, that you recognized them, and you didn't want to just continue to live in a worldly way. Coming here and getting this word, it inspired me to get my word and start to live for God. Gotcha. It was exciting for me because I just returned home from college and I was looking for a church that had the word. And so that's what I found when I came here, the real word of God. And that just, you have to spill it over into the way you live your life, you know? I got you. Well, Philly, there y'all have it. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. 
Philly family, let's wish Miss Betty Boudreaux, the mother of many, a very happy birthday. She celebrated her birthday on September the 13th. She says she is blessed to be alive and well. And thanks to her pastor, she is no longer retired. She is renewed. The Bible says in Proverbs 9:11, For by me your days will be multiplied, and years will be added to your life. Let's give a happy seven-year anniversary to Bryce and Shalena Kale on today, September 15th. Congratulations. Let's give a happy birthday to Brother Calvin Jornet, celebrating his 64th birthday on last Saturday, September 14th. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary to the Duga family. Mr. and Mrs. Ravini and Karen Duga are celebrating their anniversary on today. Congratulations. Let's congratulate Jakar and Amber Bernard on their first year anniversary. He says he is excited for many more to come, and he does and appreciate Amber for not only being God's gift to him, but also for their friendship and growth they have made together. Congratulations to the Bernard family. Hey, guys, look, I just want to say a special thanks, special thanks to everyone that came out this Saturday, man. It helped, us, helped me uh, put up some farm fence. Man, the guys came out. They came through, man. It was such a blessing, man. We put up over 700 feet of fence, man. We had a good time out there. The weather wasn't that bad. Uh, the heat wasn't that bad. Uh, some of us got to ride four-wheelers and stuff for the first time. Some of you had an exciting time shooting guns. Matter of fact, they, they had so much fun, they fell asleep on the tractor. So, guys, thanks again to everybody that came out and helped. And also, look, man, I'm going to be putting up some more fits uh, probably this weekend, man. So get with me if you want to come out to the farm and help. Again, thank you all so much. I really, really appreciate it. Much love. One more thing. Guys, look, we definitely want you to stay connected with what's going on here at Philadelphia Christian Church. Staying connected is very, very simple. All you have to do is text at PhillyNet to 81010. That's right, at PhillyNet to 81010, and then you just follow the on-screen instructions. Also, if you want to be part of the prayer line, all you have to do is text at PrayNet to 81010. Again, at PrayNet to 81010, follow the on-screen instructions, and you'll definitely be connected. Guys, thank you so much. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. It's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time. 